There are some more advanced use cases of a master task database using rollups and a select identity, so I thought I'd share them in this video, so stick around and I'll tell you how. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. We're going to build this from scratch, so we're going to create a database in the table view. We're then going to add some things in that we need to get done. Then we're going to add a date property to the things that we need to get done, so when we go to that calendar view, the things appear as there is a date assigned to them. Now we're going to add a done checkbox, so if we've completed the task, we would push the done checkbox. Now I'm going to add an identity, some of you may see this as a tag, but essentially it's a select column that allows me to filter for specific pieces of information. So if I have tasks and events in my master task database, I can actually filter that calendar view for events and tasks. So we're going to add some dates in there, and now we've got identities there. Something else I like doing with my master task database is actually using the relation to the project the task is related to. So we're going to create a projects database. Create a project, have the date the project is due to be done. And then create that relation between the projects and task database. Now that we have that relation in there, I can just put that relation as project one. I'm now going to copy that, control C, and paste it all the way down, control V, just to speed things up. Now when we create that calendar view of all the tasks that we have, we can actually add a filter, so if we don't want to see all of the tasks we have to do, and we just want to see events, as we would do in a normal calendar view, we can go up to the filter, filter for identity and then put the events so now it's only going to show me the events that i have done and we can name this view events but if for example you're trying to organize a meeting and you want to see if you're really busy on one day you'd actually want to see all the tasks and events in one day so you'd actually create that separate view now that we've got those two separate views what we're going to do is go back to that table and actually create a rollup of that project. And what we're going to do is use that rollup to select project one, and whatever project it's actually related to, look for the date, and then just show the original. So it's now showing the due date for the project. What this now means is when we go back to that calendar view and we see all our events and our tasks, we can go into properties and we can show that rollup property with the identity and any other properties we want to see in that calendar view. Now when we look at those tasks or events, we can see the date that that specific project actually needs to be done. So in the case that project may be as a client, we can see when that client needs to have something done by. So if we do need to move that task to a different day, we can see where it needs to be done by so we don't move it past that due date. And because we have tasks in here, we can add a filter to say if done is not ticked. So it's only going to show us the tasks that we actually still need to do rather than the whole list. Maybe you want a formula to show you how many days or hours you've got left to complete that task. If that's something you're interested in, check this video out over here and I'll see you there.